Okay, hey everyone. I'm recording on my phone, so if it's not as clear, it's because my camera battery died and I've already went through three batteries and I didn't think to charge not one. And it takes a long time for them to charge, so yeah, I really need to know all that. But I'm just back with the story time because today is Saturday. Um I'm dressed for work. So that explains why I look like I'm going to a funeral. We wear like all black now, whatever. So yeah but today i wanted to tell the story time about how i gained 75 pounds my freshman year in college um i went to college weighing like 135 i think and then i came home weighing like 215 or 210 i think it was like 210 so um yeah i was like definitely 210 pounds i just hope to never see 200 on a scale ever again um, so far, I've lost 45 pounds out of that 75, and I am looking to lose another 30 pounds. Hopefully, like, 10 pounds come from out of my head, and the rest comes from out of my stomach. And, like, I tone my arms up a little bit, and then I should be okay. I should be good to go. Or at least I will be happy, you know, with the way I look. I just really want to tone up overall. But anyway, so back into how I gained this 75 pounds. So when I was growing up, we did a lot of fruits and vegetables like in our day-to-day -day life like i probably ate like six to seven different kind of fruits in one day and i probably had like six to seven different kinds of vegetables in one day um my mom did cook every meal breakfast lunch and dinner we rarely ate out and like i was used to think it's because like you know we was poor we didn't really have that much money but it was actually because it's a lot better for your body to actually you know cook your own food make sure you washing your own stuff versus all this processed food that they have now and all this gen genetically modified and all these hybrid fruits and everything like that so and then a big part of like the way that i ate was i'm jamaican so most of the times um you grew you either grew what you ate or you exchanged different things. Like say if you was a person that raised goats and somebody, you know, had vegetables, you might exchange them a goat for vegetables. I know that you wouldn't exchange an animal for some vegetables, but that's just pretty much how it worked. So a lot of people ate stuff that grew out of the ground. And even though when my family came over here, we still held on to them. Same kind of principles. So my mom used to cook. Um, she, we did a lot of vegetarian stuff, even though I wouldn't label us as vegetarian because when holidays came, we sure did eat us uh, some curry chicken and some curry goat and some manish water and all that good stuff. And I love me some oxtails. So, but majority of the time, 95% of the time, we were eating like plant-based or vegetarian or like vegan, no dairy really. Um, it was a lot of herbs. Like I would drink hot tea every morning. I always stretched every morning. Um, always worked out. I was always very active. Um, I think my very first dose of like being active was taking self-defense and, and karate classes when I was younger. So that was a lot of movement um, going around. That's why I kind of like to fight so much because like, I don't know, it was just really fun when I was growing up. Then I started dancing. I did every type of genre of dance. So I did um, ballet, jazz, tap, modern, liturgical, whatever. Add them all up. Um, I did African dance, which is my favorite, but it requires a lot of energy and it's very like upbeat, like you know. So that um, I was in a band in high school. I played the cymbals. <laughs> oh my god! I still have cuts on my arms from playing the cymbals. And then I also, what else I did? I was in ROTC, so that was kind of like a lot of um, energy in that. Not really. We just had PT on Fridays, barely. And we had a physical fitness test we had to pass. Always passed it. Um, what else I did? I ran track for three years. I was like the track team captain my junior year. So I like pretty much I'm just telling y'all I was always active, always active. And I always ate right. I always ate three times a day. Always home cooked meals. And like I always got my fruits and vegetables in. So my senior year, a lot was going on my senior year. You guys... I'll tell y'all story time about my senior year a whole lot later. But, I don't know. My senior year, I just started, like, smelling myself. And I didn't think I had to listen to my mama no more. And I had, like, 
I just went crazy. So I started working at Wendy's. That was my very first job. And so like, I'll probably like sneak a burger here and there, even though I was not supposed to be eating red meat and I was supposed to be eating pork. So it kind of started my, my senior year of high school. I started gaining weight and you know, I just like was like, okay, I'm getting thick or whatever. I'm feeling out. I'm getting older. I'm getting thick. So I, I didn't really pay much attention to it. And I didn't really like, you know, get mad because I didn't really have like, my waist was still small. It was just my thighs and my butt was getting bigger. My boobs were getting bigger. Who gonna complain about that? Not me. I wasn't complaining. So I ended up going um, to Savannah State, which was like in the area or whatever. It wasn't too far, but I lived on campus. And I would go home on Sundays to eat dinner with my mom. But during the week, let me tell y'all what I ate. Probably every day for like the whole entire freshman year. Um, fried chicken Wednesdays, of course. So that's fried chicken, macaroni and cheese. I, I don't, what are it rice sometimes? Greens, whatever. I just know I always had the fried chicken and macaroni and cheese because, you know, we didn't ever really have a lot of fried foods. We never had like macaroni and cheese and stuff when I was growing up. So it was so fascinating to me. And like all the different things that they was cooking, like country fried steak, like I never had that. So like when I had it for the first time, Y'all, I had, like, my stomach was hurting for, like, two weeks. I went home, and I was like, Mommy, my stomach. And she was just like, what are you? She's like, I know you're eating what you're not supposed to be eating, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. She, how she know what I'm eating? And she ended up making me some hot tea and a gas pass, and I ended up feeling a lot better. But I kept eating pork. I kept eating, like, red meat because I never had it, so I was overindulgent in it. And I was drinking soda. I wasn't allowed to drink soda either, so I was drinking soda like crazy um also college you partying thursday friday saturday we going now so i'm drinking alcohol whatever like that so all of these things that i'm doing i'm just slowing down my metabolism i'm slowing down my metabolism slowing it down slowing it down slowing it down so i'm like okay um yeah so i'm like okay so i noticed around halloween i'm like 160 pounds Never, I've never been over 140 in my life. So I'm like 160 pounds, but it looked nice though because I didn't have a stomach yet. I still had, I had like a, a little small punch, but my waist was still small, but still big. That was still big. So I'm like, okay, I'm good, whatever. Then, whew, around Thanksgiving, I think I was like 175. And I remember very distinctively getting into it with these girls online and... I don't like all the stuff they were saying. It did not bother me. It did not phase me. But there's one comment. The girl was like, da -da -da -da, she doing all this talking, but where's your neck? You need to go find your neck. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? Excuse me? I got a neck. Like, I don't know what you looking at, but I have a neck. I got a neck. At this time, I didn't have a neck. It was like, my pictures was like this. So, I'm like, I'm looking back at my pictures, and I'm like, damn, like, I kind of am getting a little big. Like, I'm not as, you know, slim as I used to be. It's like, I'm getting a little fat. So, then, me and my mom, we went, like, clothes shopping. So, I go in the store, and I go straight to the junior section, grabbing my smalls and my extra uh, extra smalls. Mom, to my, mm -mm, my girl, mm -mm, come over here, over here, come over here. And I see her in the women's department. I said, mm, I'm confused. You picking out something for yourself? Because I don't wear this size. And she put out these size 15 pants. Kids, you know a lot. They were size 15. And I was, we was going back and forth in the store. Cause, and I was about to start crying. Because I was like, I do not wear a size 15. I'm a size 9. Like, whatever. And so, my mom was like, try on the pants. Try on the pants. I bet they fit. I bet they fit. So, I try on the pants. <laughs> they not only fit. But they was too tight. And I was like, I started crying in the dressing room. Like, of course, I didn't let my mom see me. But I was boohoo crying because I was like, I'm about to cry now. 
Ooh, I was like boohoo crying in the dressing room because I was like, oh my God, I'm fat, I'm fat. But like, I wasn't, to me and myself and my skin, how I'm used to, I was, I consider myself fat. But I know there's like, you know, there's other people, especially when you watch my 600 pound life that are really going through like big issues. So a lot of people would like chastise me and say, oh, you're not big, like da 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 da, you just being dramatic and stuff. But for me, being skinny and petite my whole life and then being like super thick. It was a big shocker. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to suck it up. I was just like, I'm thick now, whatever. At the time, I was like, ain't nothing I could do about it. I'm thick, whatever. And I didn't have a stomach yet, so it didn't really bother me because I didn't have a stomach. So, um, okay, fast forward to my birthday, January 12th. Me and my mom, we go out to eat. I picked out this fitted dress. It was supposed to be super cute. Put it on. I go to taking my pictures. Go to posing different angles wasn't working my stomach was just there it was like there and i was just like oh my god like i'm really getting fat and then fast forward to valentine's day valentine's day i had these tights they i don't know where i got the tights from but they were like it was like they looked like pants almost but the fabric of it was tights but the 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 way they looked, the style, looked like pants. So they was like high-waisted. They had a zipper on them. And pretty much what it did is like it make your stomach super flat and it make your butt like really big. It was like contour tights almost. And so, you know, those was, I was like, yeah, I'm wearing these on Valentine's Day. Like I ain't got no man. So I'm wearing them on Valentine's Day. And so I go to take my pictures. I have my hair in a little cute bob. I go to take my pictures before I go out, like in the little mirror. If you know, you stayed at Richard Wright or Tiger Court or Camilla Huber or wherever. You know, you had those big vanity mirrors. So I go to take my picture in my mirror. I turn to the side so you can see my booty. You can see my small waist. What waist? Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't what waist. It was, there's a waist. It was no longer what waist, it was there's a waist. And in my stomach, it looked like I was like six months pregnant. I was like, oh my God, like what am I going to do? So I just put on a jean jacket. Everybody knows if you wear jean jackets, you know, like you kind of like your stomach ain't the best or whatever. Jean jacket, it kind of like give you a little shape or whatever. So I'm like, okay. After that, I try to get serious about working out, but mm -mm. It wasn't for me. One, because, like, I didn't really think to, like, run or I didn't think to do, like, my little dance workouts that we used to do. Because I always seen exercising as a form of punishment. Like, I never really seen exercising as something that you just do just because, like, you should do it. I always seen it as punishment. So, that's probably, like, why when I went to college, I wasn't working out because... I fucking hate it working out. So I go in the gym and I'm just like, damn, I don't know none of these machines. Like, I don't want to do this or whatever. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to be thick. I kind of like accepted for a long time that I was going to be, that I was going to be like 200 pounds forever. So, well, at the time I didn't know I was 200 pounds, but I thought I was going to be big forever. So I like got rid of all my smaller clothes, gave them away to my friends and I started purchasing like my bigger clothes. And I started trying to like dress for my size and stuff and it was just like like the clothes are not cute some clothes are not cute but the stores that i was used to shopping in the larger clothes they're not cute or they never have like your size or anything so it started getting frustrating like i couldn't just go in the store and just grab something and just go about my business knowing it was gonna fit i had to actually go in the dressing room i had to take all my clothes i had to try on stuff and then it don't fit right and it was just like a whole thing so i kind of like stopped wanting to shop in stores i just wanted to shop online so i started shopping online and this video got along but i started shopping online and yeah so i started finding like little cute stuff or whatever like that and then it's just like i kept getting bigger kept getting bigger and i was like okay you know what i had to change because i'm getting really sick i'm always sick all the time i'm out of breath mind you i end up getting into like a little fight my friend was fighting and some girl tried to jump in so i jumped in and y'all normally i have no problem fighting like i could just keep going keep going keep going but i was <sighs> sis would have had me like if sis really had some hands she would have had me because i was tired my hands were so slow and that's when i knew i knew i was like okay i gotta do something still didn't do nothing so that year came to an end and um mind you i had stopped going out because like 
I don't know. I just wasn't like having the same the, the same amount of fun as I used to. Like I could dance all night in a party. Or I could dance to every song, the whole song. But now it's just like, whoo, whoo, chale. I was tired. Like, so I was just like, mm, no, I stopped going out, whatever. So summer rolled around. I go to New York to go visit my brother my brothers and sisters or whatever and my dad and my little brother who's 10 years younger than me he always recognized me always knows me or whatever this time he didn't recognize me he was just like are you my aunt are you my cousin and da -da -da -da. and i was just like no it's kiki nobody ever called me kiki but that's what my brother and my family called me he was like oh he was like kiki he ran and gave me a big hug or whatever he's just like oh my god you look so different and that's when i knew that i had to do something like i just had to do something so what I did was I cut out soda, I cut out juices, I cut out candy, I cut out sweets, I cut out all that stuff, and I was only drinking water, only drinking water. And then I um I was still eating, like, you know, real reckless or whatever, but I only drank water or whatever. And I noticed that I lost probably like 15 pounds in a month by just like only drinking water, not drinking any soda, any juices, and none of that. And so then I was just like, okay, I lost 15 pounds. So I was at 200 for like two years i was 200 i would do like really quick fad diets like say if i had a birthday coming up or something i might lose like 13 pounds or 18 pounds like really quickly or whatever but i'll put it back on so then i'm like okay you know what i want to get back to my old way i want to get more tone i want to get more fit so i cut out pork and i lost like a good bit of weight by cutting out pork and then i started doing like little fitness challenges like on pinterest that i would find on pinterest i started doing them and I started losing weight. Um, like I said, I don't know if I said in the beginning, but if I didn't, I did lose 45 pounds out of the 75 pounds. So, so far I'm doing good. Hold on, I don't know who this is. Just to wrap up, just to wrap up my video really quickly because I do have to get to work. By the way, the Jehovah Witnesses was knocking at my front door. No shade, no tea. No shade, no tea. But um, yeah, like I did really gain a lot of weight. <laughs> and but I'm working to lose it and like if you ever find yourself where you're at a size that you're not comfortable with and I'm not talking about nobody coming for your weight or you know nobody saying like oh you big or nobody else I'm talking about you yourself if you feel like you know you know you might want to lose a little bit of weight google just google always google use youtube use pinterest like you can do all of these stuff at home you don't need a trainer Mind you, I pay, like, so much money for trainers and all that stuff. But it's like, if you don't want to do the work, it's all on you at the end of the day. It don't matter how much money you spend on a trainer. No matter how much money you spend on a waist trainer. No matter how much money you spend on food. If you don't want to do it, it's not going to get done. So it's like, you have to find the self-discipline. You have to find the, like, self-desire to want to, like, lose weight or it's not going to happen. Because I know me, I used to be posting, like, oh, yeah, I'm eating this. <laughs> And my ass would be right in somebody drive through line or whatever. But it was until that I really wanted to change for myself that I started to lose the weight. And I used to try everything. I used to type in, like, how to lose 40 pounds in one week. <laughs> and I used to do, like, the lemonade challenges. I used to do, like, salt water flushes. I did everything but eat right and work out. And when I decided to finally eat right and work out, I started losing the weight. So it's all up to you. But, like... Thanks for tuning in. Gotta go to work. <laughs>